Hello, everyone. Today we are going to discuss an official guide to GMAT question. This was asked in a WhatsApp group. If you're not part of our WhatsApp group, please consider joining. The link is in the description of the video. For the brevity of solution, I have already filled in some of the information. So let's review the question. A merchant discounted the sale price of a coat. So all the information of coat is here and sale price of a sweater. All the information of the sweater is in this column. So if C is the initial selling price of the coat and DC is the discount percentage, then the total discount is C multiplied by DC. And similarly in sweater, the total discount is S multiplied by DS. And what, what the question is asking us is, can we establish whether C multiplied by DC is greater than or less than S multiplied by DS? We have to uniquely establish. Now, as you can see, we need both C and DC and S and DS to be able to solve this question. Having just information around one of these is not going to be enough. Now let's start looking at the answer choices. The percent discount on the coat was two percentage points greater than the percent discount on the sweater. In other words, DS is nothing but DC minus two. I've been given a relation between DC and DS. Nothing is given about C and S unless I know what the initial selling price for these coats is or what's the relation between them. I can't really solve this question. So A is definitely individually insufficient. Now let's look at statement number B. Before the discounts, the sale price of the coat was $10 less than the sale price of sweater. So the sale price of the sweater is $10 more than the sales price of the coat. Now again, it doesn't give us anything about the DC and DS. And since we need all of this information, B alone is also insufficient. Now let's combine these two. So when we combine these two, C multiplied by DC in the coat side, and for the sweater, we have C plus 10 multiplied by DC minus two. And as you can see, there is C plus 10 here. So this is a value in the product that is trying to increase the product. Here is a value in the product that is trying to decrease the product. So we have kind of unequal tension going on. One value is trying to increase the product. The other is trying to decrease the product. So I would just simply say at this point, it's insufficient. But let's actually dig a little bit deeper for understanding. Let's look at C, D, C, and we have C plus 10, which is trying to increase this product. And then we also have D, C minus 2, which is trying to decrease this product. At certain point, these two will actually be equal. At certain point, at, for some values of C and D, these would actually be equal because this is trying to increase it, this is trying to decrease it. There would be some value there where these would actually be equal. So let's just equate them. You get C, D, C equal to C, D, C minus 2, C plus 10, D, C minus 20 and as you calculate everything you will get 5 dc equals c plus 10. what it is telling us is these two values will be equal when there is this relationship between dc and c now we don't know what dc and c is so let's just assume c equals 40 that will give us dc equals 10 percent so again let's read it through what it says is when C is 40 and DC is actually 10%, then given all the conditions, the discount are actually equal. Nobody is greater or smaller. However, if we take a value of DC less than 10%, so let's take a scenario where DC equals 8%, the LHS CDC would be $3.2. And RHS, which is the sweater's total discount, C plus 10 and DC minus 2 would be 50 multiplied by 6%. So that would be 3. And the sign would be this way. If we take DC equal to 12%, which is about 2% greater than 10%, CDC, 
will be 40 multiplied by 12 percent that is dollar 4.8 and 50 multiplied by 10 percent is dollar 5 the sign is reversed so again, it actually depends on what is the exact value of C and DC, not just these relations. And hence, we cannot clearly say whether LHS is greater than RHS or the other way around. We cannot uniquely determine which is discounted more. Hence, the answer to this question is E. Even when we combine statements A and B together, we are not able to find a unique answer. I hope this helps. If there are any questions, please reach out. Thank you very much.